In the workshop, making the exhaust note of your model steam engine louder. This is the normal sound of compressed air in my workshop. And here's the sound of it going up a tube. And it sounds as you would expect it to sound, like a compressed air jet going up a tube. If I stick this piece of pipe in the base of a Stuart Models 504 boiler chimney, it makes a different noise. And the first thing that you notice is the lower pitch of the note. And with the metal funnel fixed to the end of the pipe, it sounds like this. And that's an improvement, but the funnel would look pretty stupid stuck out of the top of the chimney. So that was a metal funnel, let's try a plastic one. That gives a bit of a different tone and it's a little bit louder. But a plastic funnel is no good, because not only would it look stupid sticking out of the chimney, it would look even worse once it melted. Should I restrict the end of the pipe to speed up the flow of the air? But no, I think the sound is marginally better just coming out of the end of the pipe. Really, the exhaust note of a steam engine depends on quite a few factors, one of them being valve timing, and it's also very dependent on the amount of work the engine is doing. About 30 years ago, I rebuilt this engine. This was a manor class locomotive in 5 inch gauge. In an attempt to get a louder exhaust beat, I made a special blast pipe for this engine. And as you can both see and hear in this old VHS clip, the blast pipe was successful. The engine isn't very heavily loaded, very few passengers behind it, but it makes a lot of noise. People used to comment on it and say, how do you get it to make so much noise? Have a listen. And this is how I did it. I made one of these, and it makes the blast louder. So what is it? It's a very simple device. This fits on the end of the copper pipe, which is the exhaust outlet, and the initial quarter of an inch diameter hole that sits on top of the exhaust pipe was opened up with a half inch drill, and then I put this thing down it, which made a really nice tapered cone. It's a little bit like a megaphone exhaust pipe inside that tube, and when I fit this component to the end of the exhaust pipe and put some air into it, it sounds like this. That was the sound of the airline without the megaphone fitted. And now, when I fit the megaphone to the end of the pipe, and as you can clearly hear, that is a few decibels louder than it was before. And when I hold the pipe with the megaphone adapter up the chimney, have a listen now. That was with, this is without. As you can clearly hear, there's a vast difference in the sound. Finally, once again, it's worth mentioning that it's not just a megaphone that makes it louder, it's the valve timing and the amount of load the engine is under. But a small megaphone on the end of the exhaust pipe will generally make most steam engines a good bit louder. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this short video useful.